Welcome to the post game show. It's always presented by the Maroon Club, enhancing 23 Division I sports. Join the Maroon Club today and our Coca Cola player of the game. Presented by Coke, experience the Coke side of life. Here's Dan Mowdy. Thanks a lot, Gary. As John pointed out earlier in this contest, really, Coach, the middle of the game was all Lafayette's. We're here with head coach Fran O'Hanlon. I'm taking a look at a, a one-point deficit, 16-15, around halfway through that tight first half. You guys exploded for a 13-6 run to end the half, and then started off the second half with a 14-5 run. Well done. Yeah, I thought, you know, uh, we didn't play defense particularly well to start the game. We switched to a man-to-man. -man did a much better job in the man to man and in the second half we just kept, we we were talking about keeping the ball hot and moving the ball better and I thought we did a good job with that absolutely they were without their gun here tonight as it opposed it's kind of like the reverse of what it was down in Maryland here you did have Seth Hendricks and it really made a difference yeah absolutely I mean not just in the score and in our confidence as a team but the other thing is he rebounds the ball so well for us he gives us a, he gives us that rebounder that we that we lack a lot of times Big contest coming up this weekend right here at Kirby Sports Center. The team that went through the first half undefeated American is coming here to play Lafayette. What are you expecting in that one? Well, they had a great first half and they're playing very well. They're, you know, one of the favorites right now as you look at it. Uh, they really, uh, they, they do a great job of running offense. They run the Princeton offense. Uh, they're a handful. They defend well. So, you know, it's going to, I think it'll be a great contest. No doubt about it, Coach. We'll be rooting for you on Saturday as well as we did here tonight. Congratulations on a great win here against Loyola. Thank you. Brand O'Hanlon, the 19-year head coach of the Lafayette Leopards. And let's talk to the 39th inductee into the 1,000-point club here at Lafayette College, Seth Hendricks, only a junior. Congratulations, Seth, especially for hitting it so early in your career. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Tell me, uh, you know, you still got a year and a half to go, roughly. You have another thousand in you? <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know. <laughs> Seth, it's been an up and down kind of a season for you with an injury that you seem to have overcome pretty nicely. Talk a little bit about what it takes to get back into uh, uh, the playing style and the playing speed that you need to here in the Patriot League. I mean, coming back, it was a little rough, a little out of shape. I mean, naturally, um, just being out for as long as I was. So. Uh, I think Matt France did a great job uh, getting me back into shape and strengthening my knee up again. So, uh, and that will need me to uh, come back and uh, come back healthy. It seemed like tonight, especially anytime there was even a glimmer, enough space to get a basketball through, your teammates were finding you down low. Yeah, yeah, they they did a great job. I mean, uh, they've been me lately since I've come back. So, uh, I mean, it's tribute to tributed to them, and uh, can't thank them enough. Excellent effort here tonight. 12 points is what you needed. You got 13 along with seven rebounds and three assists. Congratulations on being our Coca-Cola player of the game. Thanks. Hi, Mom. Seth Hendricks, a junior here who is really showing some strength here coming back from that injury. Now back to you guys. All right, Dan, and we congratulate Seth ourselves as he hits that milestone. All right, here is the way the numbers shook out. For Loyola, just 44 points tonight on 16 field goals. They were 1 for 14 from beyond the arc, 11 for 19 from the free throw line. Just two double-figure scorers, Franz Rassman with 10, and uh, Eric, or uh, check it, Eric Laster, is it? No, R.J. Williams with 10 points. On the Lafayette side, they're 61 points. That came on 25 field goals. They had six three-pointers, six for 15. They were a perfect five for five from the foul line. Hendricks was second in scoring at 13, but he did lead the team in rebounding with seven. Dan Trist with 14 as Lafayette wins this one, and we've got highlights, and they're coming your way from John Leone. Thanks, Gary. Yeah, early on, it looked like Lafayette was going to have some problems on the inside. Uh, really, it was just a terrific job off the glass. Er uh, it was uh, uh, Eric Laster did a terrific job, and uh, Franz Rossman, really, with his size on the inside, uh, Loyola really looked dominant uh, in the early going uh, on, on the interior. Uh, but sooner or later, Lafayette's offense, Gary, so efficient. There you see the back cut and the great feed from Dan Trist along the baseline. Then Dan Trist does it himself. Watch him turn quickly to his left. That's just a fundamentally sound move on the fast break. It's Nick Lidner, the little freshman uh, point guard, finding Bryce Scott for a three. This one was initially ruled a three. It turned out to be a two, but it didn't matter because it's great to see Bryce Scott uh, providing some support for this young man right here. Uh, this is a great move by the uh, freshman Michael Hoffman going to the basket hard, but 
you know, this is uh, Hoffman again from the baseline, the long, lanky lefty. And uh, again, uh, it was uh, Seth Hendricks finding the open man, Zach Rufel in the corner. He had two in a row from that spot. But I'll tell you, it all, in my estimation, Gary, it all starts with uh, this young man, Seth Hendricks. He does a terrific job in every facet of the game. There's his uh, a bucket that gave him his thousandth of the game. But when he is a focal point of the scoring for Lafayette, it just makes everybody mm -hmm. better. You can't double down on Trist because Tuzinski and Scott and 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 uh, Hendricks can knock down jump shots, and so it really makes everybody better. And we'll see if they can do it again on Saturday. Loyola goes to 10 and 14, 5 and 8 in the Patriot League. Lafayette goes to 7 and 17, 3 and 10 in the Patriot League. 2 o'clock, the American Eagles are here on Saturday. We'll have that game for you live. For John Leone, Dan Malley, the RCN television team, headed up by Rick Gio. we thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Good night, everybody.